musicbooksplus.com here at Canadian Music Week 2013 with Tom Jackson, famed live music producer. Uh, Tom, just came from a, a seminar here at CMW. What would you say is the biggest misconception or the biggest misconceptions that artists have about the live show and what's the reality? Biggest misconceptions? Uh, the biggest misconception is they really think their show rocks. Um, and th the reason they have that misconception is people clap for them still, um, particularly their fans or friends. Um, but also, the thing that I experienced as a player and as a live music producer is you're on stage, your adrenaline's pumping, your songs, people are clapping for you, so you're thinking, this is really good. Um, and it, it might be good, but it's not really good or it's not great in most cases. Um, that's one of the biggest misconceptions. The other misconception is the show needs to be completely spontaneous. So you go out and, and there's a difference between spontaneity and winging it. Winging it is kind of, well, here we go. But, but the truth is, um, winging it and spontaneity is two different things. A great show is a combination of form, meaning a plan, and spontaneity. And if you know where to put the spontaneous moments, then, uh, and you create a show around that, um, you got a good show. Speaking specifically to the live music methods title, um, All Roads Lead to the Stage, what can folks expect to find in that book that will benefit their careers? The book? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, it's been a long time coming, but it, it literally is a, is a map. It's a, it's, a, it's a curriculum to become a better performer. Uh, it's actually two parts to the book. One is the first 300 pages, it's a big book, are about the live show, how to get better on stage, how to create moments. People go to experience moments. How do you create those moments, not let them happen by accident? Um, I deal with the technical issues. One of the things that I run across all the time is bands or artists, their songs, because they're creative people, their songs don't sound the same, but their show, after two songs, all their songs look the same, though they don't sound the same, and it's a mistake. So how to get away from that. Uh, and then the last 100 pages of the book is about making more money at the gig, not just selling merch and getting paid to play. What other streams of revenue happen uh, so that you can make a living doing what you love to do?